Hey Houseway friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to do a tour of my sunroom or my plant great room. This is where I actually keep decent amount of the plants in my entire collection. I kind of gave you like a brief once over in our moving vlog, which if you haven't seen it yet, you should go watch it. I'll link it in the description, but I'm gonna show you all the plants, give you all their names, and let's just get into it. Before we get started, please make sure you do hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube channel memberships, which you can access for only $5 a month, cheaper than your coffee, and you join an entire online community of over 220 houseplant parents from all over the world. I'm really excited to show you all the plants that I have because I feel like in this room especially, they're all thriving. They get a full day, a full eight hours of bright, direct southeast facing light. Even with the blinds drawn, like it's still so bright in here, like literally all the blinds are down right now. That is now uh, with the uh, blinds up. Can't even see me. It's very bright in here and the plants absolutely love it. So let's uh, let's take a look at them. I also do just wanna thank Zimf so much for sponsoring this video. These are the Zimf Prime lenses I got in blue tortoiseshell. Love them so much. Make sure you use code Ashley at checkout if you do wanna try out these glasses for 50% off frames and 20% off lenses. These are my favorite. Well, they're my only like computer glasses. So they're blue light blocking. They're a little dirty right now because I literally wear them constantly, but check out my Zimf lenses. It's a great way to support the channel and uh, get new glasses at the same time. Thank you Zim for sponsoring this video. So I have noticed my plants absolutely take off since moving them into this new space. I think that they're all absolutely loving life. I mean, you can see how bright everything is because of how dark it's making stuff right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put the blinds back down again, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys like a really good view of all of my beautiful little plant things. But uh, this is the new Mikans we got. It's doing so good. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Just I guess while the blinds are up, look at this one. So this is a new Syngonium Alba Putophyllum I just got. And normally I feel like I do these plants really dirty, um, but he's absolutely loving like being in the sun. We got two new leaves. You are gonna notice I have this big large cutting. Uh, it's not even a real cutting. It's literally like a petio cutting of my Monstera. Uh, and that is because I had a scale, a scale scare the other day. Um, he had some like dots on him and I was really worried he had some scale, but actually he didn't and it was like just a dripping of something. So I cut him off for no reason. And now he looks weird for no reason, but it's okay, he'll put out a new leaf again. Look at the new sport guy. You can't even really see it that well because of the light, it's so bright. Variegated string of hearts is getting very long again. I literally just cut it and it's already hanging past the windowsill again. Favorite little Hoya guys. I mean, look at this, it's sun stressing here so much more than it was at my other place. And because they are getting so much sun, I have noticed my plants do need more water. I just watered all of these and they are all, I mean, almost all of them already needing more. My Lachinos is actually about to bloom uh, in multiple places. Mauna Loa is growing in really fast now, finally. We actually have some visible stems and this leaf is brand new. My normal Hoya Carnosa Compacta, well, my first one, is also growing in nicely. Also getting thirstier faster, as you can see from the prunage. The bees want my plants. They literally fly up to this window to try to get at my plants and, you know. Um, it is cool that the stems are starting to curve towards the window now, which is awesome. This guy is getting bigger. I'm gonna keep rotating him so he, he's even, but let's get into like the actual tour. Okay, let's get into me showing you all the plants. This is my Syngonium Albo Podophyllum. I keep it in a rain ceramics friend pot. I love it so much. This is a six inch pot. This is my Silver Glory String of Hearts. I keep it in a Brook Seedle ceramic pot. Since potting it up in the soil, he's like actually started growing, which he wasn't before. So very excited about that. This is my Philodendron Mykins. Well, one of them, I'll show you the other one in just a second. He is doing so good. I mean, he is absolutely like lush Lord. He is in a double pot. So this is the saucer and it sits right underneath. I think it's so cute. I don't know, he's just a really good plant. The back is the part that is facing the sun. So we are going to see some more growth 
we already kind of are. And in this house, I'm actually going to like work on rotating my plants. So that way they are uh, all nice and pretty from every angle. This is my Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant. I recently gave it a pretty fairly large trimming because it was like really, it was getting a lot of really dead branches we didn't love the look of. So I hope that these get long enough that they actually weigh down eventually because it looks kind of silly. But I got this at the uh, Magic Valley Gardens down in Twin Falls, I think, a while ago. And it hasn't grown very much, but it is finally starting to grow here in this house. I had it in a north facing window before and now it's in southeast, so. This is my Hoya Carnosa Compacta. This is my only unvarigated uh, variety of this plant. He's doing very good. I got this, I took the tag off, I guess, but I got this for $14 at a Lowe's. I have a ton of the normal variety, but not the normal, I have a ton of the variegated varieties, multiple. None of the normal variety. So this one just looks so healthy and pretty. I just wanted to get it. I love how the ropes look. Literally, it's just like a big old chunk right there. I love it so much. Then we have my Hoya Lacunosa plant has been with me for a long time. I got it last November or December when I was in Salt Lake City. I got it the most recent time I was in Salt Lake City, but I love it so much. It's putting out some flowers right now, which we will see very soon. Here's a peduncle. And it is in a clay by Shea ceramic pot. I'll do my best to link these potters in the description or at least their Instagram. <gasps> wow, so we have like five on this plate now. That is awesome. Yeah, I'll do my best to link all the potters and ceramicists so you can go follow them because I know you guys are always curious. Love this one. This is my Hoya Lacinosa Long Kawai Island. It is a different cultivar. This right here is my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Mauna Loa, which is reverse internal variegation of the compacted leaves. It's going to be very hard for you to really see. Here's a leaf, for example. Um, this is, I thought for a while it was my favorite variety and now I'm like, why do I even need to pick favorite? But this is, if I had favorites, maybe my favorite, I don't know. I really like the normal Hoya Carnosa Compacta a lot right now. So, but maybe it's just because my Mauna Loa is so small. I'm just so happy that I have this one because this is a plant that's pretty hard to obtain. Again, it might not look that different right now, but it's just because it's so small. This is in a uh, clay ceramic spot. So not clay by Shea, it's K-L-E-I. Yeah, K-L-E-I, another local Boise ceramicist. This is my Hoya Kentiana variegata. And this plant just looks like magic. Um, I really, really would like to get the Waliniana variegata because it kind of has a similar vibe to this one but this one is like longer. I don't know, it just literally looks like magic and I love it so much. <laughs> like, look at that, it's magic. Wow. Here we have one of my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegatas. So, so far I've shown you one, two Hoya Carnosa Compactas. This is the first Variegata that's external. Pretty easy to find. We get them in Boise here pretty often and I always buy one when I do find one because this plant just gives me so much joy, okay? Like, leave me alone. Also, we have a full pink leaf which is so fun. Also in a Brookline ceramics pot. I just love, I love that I get to like actually showcase my pottery in this house because I love my pottery so much. I almost sold my pottery in the move too, but then I decided it wasn't worth it. Up here, we have a Hoya species affinity Bertonii. I got this from Lowe's the same day that I got my Hoya Carnosa Compacta. I just love how full and bushy, a lot of Hoyas aren't like this full bushy kind of vibe, but also they sun stress like super easy which might not pick up. I don't know, I just really like this plant. It's also kind of soft. Its leaves have like a, a fuzz to it, which I do appreciate, so. Wow, I almost threw that. Then we have my string of hearts. This is presently my only normal string of hearts. Uh, this one I got for $43 at a Zamzo's. I'm going to make sure that this one grows from every angle. Right now it's pretty much only growing from the front because at the last house, um, that's the only place it got light. Uh, but I'm working on the back right now. Back's getting somewhere. It had nothing before and now it's like actually getting somewhere. Love it, love it, love it so much. I love String of Hearts. I had four eight feet long ones. No, two eight feet long ones before I moved and I sold them. Our last big hanging plant here is my Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegata Big Mode. 
This is the exact same plant I showed you a second ago. These are the same plant. This one is just very big. I have a beautiful, wonderful, nice friend uh, named who went and actually picked one of these up for me in Twin Falls when I couldn't go because I had to quarantine uh, a month or two ago after a trip, which I was all good, but we still have quarantine because it's what you do, it's what's safe. So yeah, I couldn't go and she was like, I'll just grab one for you. And then I traded her two plants for this plant, which was so nice. I think that she purchased this for 85 or something. Oh, 79.99 plus tax. So I traded her an equal value of uh, actual really cool plants, like rare collector's plants. I don't know, I love it. I just can't believe I own one of these. Like you don't see these like hardly ever. And it's just like here, I get to look at it every day. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. I cannot wait to see how big this gets. This will be like an heirloom plant. I like pass off to my children someday. And right here I have a little ruby cascade necklace, I think. So freaking pretty. She's been doing great. Uh, I successfully watered her. She got thirsty and we had a successful watering. Uh, I'm so bad with succulents, so I was really worried she was just gonna like die, but she didn't. Then right here we have a Xerix Suisse Dan Guai thing that I might be killing. He also might just be thirsty. Uh, I'm gonna give him a water, but he's doing good. I think he's thirsty, but he looks awesome. This is also in a uh, clay by Shea ceramic pot. Then right here we have my Cebu Blue, which I haven't uh, pruned since we moved. It also needs to be watered again. We have my very beautiful Hoya Carnosa Compacta Pink Silver. Um, which has beautiful pink leaves. Well, silvery pinky leaves. Um, they've only gotten pinker since we moved here. Here's a little example. So freaking pretty. It's basically a Wilbur Graves, if we're being honest with ourselves. He's also got this very long like arm that just flops everywhere, but here you can see pink silver. So, so, so pretty. Then we have my absolutely monster, Monstera Adansonii. This thing is huge. I bought it when it was half of this size from a florist. This is the narrow form Monstera Adansonii. It's genuinely massive. It actually started to touch the floor, which is so fun. Um, I love this plant. I've had it for over a year at this point and I got it for only 30 freaking bucks. And it's just like turned into this monster. Oh, it looks so good. And it's finally starting to like grow up as well. Monster and Sunny I narrow form. Here we have my really cute Scindapsis picked or Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. She's looking very fine today. She has a couple variegated leaves, which is super fun. Uh, it didn't continue and I don't feel like trying to tame the variegation because it's showing up a lot lately. Like a ton of people are finding it and I figure, you know what? Like that can just be something I just trade for later if it's something I really want, if people can stabilize it. But I love this plant so much. I got it from Jay's Greenhouse, I believe. This is my other philodendron micans, uh, the one you guys were like, oh my gosh, you have to save it. And the front's starting to look okay, but the complete backside of it and top is like completely dead. So like, if you look at it from this angle, it's like, <laughs> It's gonna be a process to rehab this. Probably in two months it'll look a lot better, but not until then, and that's okay. Here I have my Hoya Chelsea, who is doing is so good. She's getting very long and is actively throwing out new growth points and growing from every single stem. Also this one, which is so freaking cute. We love her, Hoya Chelsea. Then we have my Pothos that I still haven't killed. It is still alive. One of my members sent me this. We did a trade, I believe. And it's like freaking like bopping, vibing. I like this leaf, this guy. Yeah, I, just, I can't believe it's still alive, honestly. Then we have my absolutely perfect staghorn fern. She's doing good. She actually just finished putting out a new paddle uh, and it's recently hardened. So hopefully we get another new paddle here very soon, but you know, it's it's up to what the guy wants to do. So I probably need to water it again soon, but she's bopping, living, moving along. A girl who went to college had this and she gave it to me um, cause she wanted it to have a good home. And so I'm like, I cannot kill this. I really cannot. So 
Then right here, I have my little Hoya Gracilis. I got a couple, uh, maybe a week or two ago, I think two weeks ago with, with one of my members, Marcy. We went to Edwards Greenhouse together and we got the same plant. Mine's doing good. Hasn't given me any new growth yet, JK less. Yeah, no new growth yet, but I think it just has to finish aqua. Maybe, maybe in a month or two, we'll see something. Then I got my big burly marks that you guys love to see. It's a very dumb looking guy but he's still here. Then I have this super cute little spot where I keep these three plants. These are like my three little low light guys. So we got my Peperomia Frost, Christopher gave me for last Thanksgiving. It has almost been a year. My Spathophyllum Pisoli Domino I've had for a year and a half. And Christopher's Pilea, his uh, silver Pilea that he got in Arizona like two months ago. Then we have my beautiful fiddly fig, Gloria, who was given to me by my friend Tori, who is actually engaged now and almost getting married, which is so freaking exciting. We get to see them very soon here. But she gave me this absolutely gorgeous fiddly fig, which has put out eight new leaves since I got it. And it is doing so freaking good. I love this plant. And I'm just so blessed I get to have fiddly fig because they're so expensive. And this one is like even more special because every time I look at Gloria, I'm like, aw. It's Tori's plant. Then I have my sport variegated Monstera who is behind me right there. And she's so pretty. She's the one that I actually had to cut like that top little piece off of because I thought that there was scale, but then there wasn't and it was a whole thing. But anyway, she's doing really good. I'm actually gonna probably cut the sport part off soon here. Pot it up because I've, I've been air layering that, that whole thing, so. Then to wrap up right here, I'm gonna actually have to show you these ones by hand. So this is the spot I'm gonna show you next. They're plants I can't really take off of the shelf or off of the bar. Uh, so this is my third Hoya Carnosa Compacta Vergata. This was my first one that I ever got. She's actually thirsty right now. And she's doing really good. I love this full white strand that we have going on there. And she actually has a peduncle that is putting out little flower buds right now. So we'll see some flowers from her again soon. But this whole strand, I like literally grew in myself. I don't know why these other ones are growing in slower, but she's really pretty and I love her. Also, I got this pot from Lowe's. You guys always ask about it. This is my string of pearls. I have to water it soon. This is what they look like when they're thirsty. I have my variegated string of hearts. She actually put out like the most beautiful new leaves at the bottom here. Like, come on, that's so pretty. I also love the teeny tiny ones she'll put out occasionally, like these baby hearts. Uh, but she's doing super amazing. I mean, I love this plant. I've had it for maybe two years at this point. It has been a long time. She is long. I've actually cut her pretty recently and I sold the cuttings just locally, but she's doing good staying full on the top. I love this little section. I don't know, she's just like genuinely so pretty. I love this plant. Probably one of my top 10 favorite plants like of all time actually. Then right here we have our string of spades who is getting very long and putting off a ton of new branches. Uh, this started as literally just two strands I had. Whoop. There goes the dirt. This started as just two strands that I had and it has become four long strands. And now those strands are making new strands. So it's going well. And then the last guy we have right here is actually my string of turtles that I have had for two and a half years. And you wouldn't even know it because it is so small. <laughs> it hasn't grown like at all, but we're working on it. I'm trying to figure it out. I got to take the flowers off that are emerging out right now. So he will keep growing. Then over here, I have this little area. Don't mind the shirts, I have to put those away. This is my new little shelf that I just put together. Well, the shelf's not new, but like the organization of it is. All of these plants here, where my little Jay's greenhouse box is, but I decided I like that the mirror is just like a mirror and it's like just doing its own thing. I don't really want anything on it other than the wine, which we don't drink. That's all wine from our wedding that we will never drink. It's just there for decoration. But here we have a really beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid I've had for probably six months now. And it has this new flower spike, which hopefully will actually bloom. And we're getting a new leaf. Then we have what I think might be Begonia Barcelui. Like, look at this new guy right here. He looks so good. I don't know, I love this Begonia. I might've called it Hoya, but I think I called it a Begonia. Begonia Barcelui, this one's also a new relief. Just doing really good. He's just a big, big old, big old Rex rhizomatis guy. Then down here we have a begonia I need to water. This is begonia Kit Kat. 
had it for longer than I thought I would. These are the ones I usually buy and then they die instantly, but putting out a bunch of new little leaves right here and he's doing pretty good. Then we have my Begonia Maculata Whitey Eye who has been struggling since the transition. But nonetheless, always looks stunning, honestly, even when it's sad. Got my other Phalaenopsis orchid here, which does not look like it is doing well. And then finally, the last plant I have in this whole area is this really beautiful little mounted Phalaenopsis orchid that I have who is just doing nothing. All right, you guys, and that is it. Thank you for coming along with me today on my tour of my sunroom, my great room, my plant room. Uh, that isn't my editing room. Thanks for taking a look at all these plants with me. I love them. I love to talk about them. I think they're my favorite thing in the whole world. So thanks for being here. Also, I just wanna let you know, I am streaming on Twitch now. Please go follow me at Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash plant me Ashley. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm streaming every day for the next four days in a row after you're seeing this. So today that you're seeing this in the afternoon, Afternoon, and then the next four days after that uh, so that we can get our affiliate status We actually completely hit all of the benchmarks to be affiliate in less than nine hours Which is so cool and then we get to hit partner as soon as we average 75 viewers Which is so close because right now we average 50 like right off the bat. That's just so exciting you guys We're doing the things so thank you so much for being there with me We're gonna be doing a lot of plant content on twitch plant shopping online unboxings repottings things like that but um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at plantmeashley. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch at plantmeashley. We're adding so many T's to that. Also, don't forget to join the YouTube channel memberships. The YouTube channel memberships are $5 a month. You can also choose, once we get affiliate status, to subscribe on Twitch and you will get the same amount of benefits depending on whatever tier you're in. If you subscribe on Twitch, you will still get You'll get all the benefits over on Twitch instead of YouTube. So like if you're gonna switch from YouTube to Twitch, like whichever, if you use maybe Twitch more than YouTube, you'll have, we'll have emotes and badges and everything over there. Can't set that up until we're affiliate, which is why we have to stream every day for the next seven days to get the seven different days of streaming out of the way. You'll be able to subscribe on Twitch or become a member on YouTube and you'll get the same perks depending on like what tier you sub at basically. That is a thing. Uh, so if you wanna become a member, but you just wanna do it on Twitch instead, I would wait uh, starting I think next Monday, we should already have affiliate status depending on how it processes. So there's that. That's my spiel. Thank you so much for watching, listening, hanging out with me. Thank you so much again to Zimp for sponsoring this video with my cute little prime glasses. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section or my room. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to the end of the video fun stuff. I would like to thank Jasmine, Renee, Sarah, Anita, Yurden, Joseph, Alamarong, Mark, Javier, and Dev Daniel for joining the YouTube channel memberships. I would also like to thank Liliana Ramos, Kim Klenowski, Ashley's Planties, Cole M, Houseplant Heather, All the Green Places, and Botanicas for the continued channel support. Today's extra special comment shout out goes to Jackson who says, I'm team Adaba Poensi in Adaba Poensi versus Billy Tai. I'd love to have more info on them. Thank you guys so much for all your support and comments, and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye.